going to do a quick little product review. We've all seen these expandable, flexible, super lightweight hoses. I've got a, some of the name brand Zero G I use in the RV. We have down at the pole barn, the uh, Wally World Impulse Isle, little 50 footer. I wanted something longer for up here by my cabin. And just so happened, your online big box store had a lightning deal on this 100 foot one. So let's see what this thing looks like. They all supposedly um, read reviews. There's always reviews, negative reviews on all of them about how they leak, they leak over time. So maybe these are hoses that are short term use. I don't know. But so far, I have not had one of these leak. Now, I've not had this brand yet. That's all we get. We got a hose. It's a couple pounds. I don't know if the weight is in the brass fittings or if the weight's in the hose itself. Hose washers, yay. Nice giant rubber band. The ends do feel very hefty. What I've noticed on some of these, and the Zero G has been the best so far out of the very few I've tried. Um, some of them have a really small inner diameter. They'll say they are a half inch hose or a five eighths inch hose or whatever. But I think they're measuring the outside diameter, and when they expand, the water pressure is still really low inside of them. So, I mean, like on this side, it's got a nice big opening. Oh. But on the other side, it doesn't look like it's nearly as big if you compare those two. Looks like your traditional hose. I'll get it plugged in and see how much water flows through here some of them online come with a little baggie to store this in well, we'll plug in some water and see how it goes and time for the initial turn it on We'll let it get filled all the way up before we see how much water actually comes out the end. Well, it puffs up pretty thick. When I stretched it, you saw earlier, it was skinny, but it puffs up pretty thick. Looks like it's still expanding a little bit. I don't see any leaks. Don't hear any leaks. Let's look and see what type of spray we get at the end. It says three quarter, right? But uh, I think that's just this hole. I don't know that that's the inside diameter. I could not find anywhere on any of these hoses what's the inside diameter of the hose itself. The hole's shrinking back up. Try a comparison. Traditional hose. Turn it on. But you see that rock down there at that same approximate angle, the other hose went maybe a foot past the rock. So there is less pressure in here than the traditional hose. Just for giggles. So people can see. I'm not storing them. Put this one back on now since i don't have the on off on here the little y on the yard hydrant i turn on and off 
So the Y on the yard hydrant's on. Just a Y, so same water. And you see how this one's going. Just a foot or, foot or three past the rock. So the water pressure's pretty close. I'll take that. I'll take a little less water pressure. I'll take a little less water pressure for the sake of convenience because these do move so much easier than your traditional hose and weigh so much less, so much easier to haul around and use. And that is the new hose. We'll see how it works over time, but yeah, I think it was worth the money on the lightning deal.